The boys who cry, is that you? We are back. This is Castlevania. I have to finish this up. Like, I started this series, and then I was just like, do I want to finish this? And I was like, oh, I mean, I'm already like over halfway through, so like, I might as well, right? Anyways, so I played a lot on my laptop at school one week while I had like not that much work to do. And, uh, I beat the game a couple times, so I, I am now 100% sure how to, like, where to go, what to do, basically. I did a few runs, I record, or I, um, I got to, like, the hard area of the, <coughs> voice crack, yikes, um, I got to the hard area of the game. And it was, I beat it, and I was like, okay, good. I have the save data ready to record so that, you know, just, just stuff. Anyways, uh, but it was on my laptop, so all of the save data is there, and now I'm back on my desktop, and, uh... Anyways, long story short, we're still here. Same save file, except not really, I guess. Um, I'm not actually that versed in how uh, Visual Boy Advance handles save data, like, in general. Like, I, you can make save states, and that's cool. You can make, uh, this is a decent soundtrack, by the way. It's not the best, it's not the worst. Um, um, where was I going? What was I saying? I have no idea how it uh, handles save data. Like, in general. So, I don't know. Wow, I don't one-shot Fox Hunter? Uh-oh. Yikes. Yo, I almost dodged that. Um... I don't know how it's handle save data, so I can't really... Yo, I have no damage. I am used to playing with a bunch of damage, apparently. Uh, basically gonna speedrun this. I almost wanna, like, use the, the cheat engine aspect of this to just, like, make my stats maxed so I can just show you the rest of the game because this isn't even, like, a testament of skill anymore. Or, like, it's just, like me going through the game showing what is in it showing the soundtrack this was supposed to be like me looking at a game that i used to play when i was i don't know 10 maybe probably older than 10 probably like well no it was probably about 10 because i couldn't i couldn't read that good yet so i mean but i could read when i was 10 so i have no idea i don't know what i'm talking about all i know is we're back in this. I gotta finish it. Whatever. That's where we are. Um, this area of the game is kind of laggy because for some reason they store a bunch of enemies. Like, it's not laggy right here, but like, in the future, in, a, in like future rooms, it will be quite laggy. I can't believe I missed that first shot and now these are gonna be like unkillable. Yeah, they're going to do a lot of damage. Um, help. I have no HP. I need to... You know what? Just skip it. Just skip it. We don't have to fight these. We're better than this. I mean, like, we're missing a bunch of XP as a result, but, like... I'm almost certain that you can get through the entire game without killing enemies. All you have to do is beat bosses, and the bosses give you enough, enough XP to... Uh, do damage. Basically, I mean, like, I'll never be able to one-shot enemies, which is an issue, but, like, I don't care that much about one-shotting enemies if I'm just running through rooms. Um, is, uh, my idea. I almost messed up the puzzle. I forgot how the puzzle works. Um... I don't want to use, like, 
the emulator speed because that like messes up the soundtrack and that's like basically the only reason I'm playing the game through again is to listen to the soundtrack. This is as much for me as it is for anyone else, so... I'm just kinda like... Actually, I remember what my uh, idea was. Is it this one? Or this one? I think it's this one. That is not it. Um, there's like this really broken combo, in my opinion. It is this one and this one. So you see these things? Yeah, these are... These make the game extremely easy. I don't know why I wasn't using them before now. I'm looking like, uh... Boo Boo the Fool. There's an enemy right here. As you... Like, look how laggy it is in here. It's because they're storing enemies in the ceiling. Or something like that. Ouch, that hurt. Please stop shooting me. Wow, I can't believe I don't one-shot these enemies. I said I don't care about it, but like, still hurts my feelings, I guess. Nah, just run into him. Just run into him. I, look, I'm tired. I'm not really tired. I'm just like, my mind isn't here. I'm listening to the soundtrack. I'm talking, you know, as you do. So this area of the game is never really exciting. Um, it's just like, whatever. It's it's an area in the game. The music is okay. The enemies are almost all really lame. Except at the very end. There's a few neat ones. This guy is a dickhead. Please go away. No, we're, okay. Well, you're still not dead. Interest. Okay, now we're done. Hey, no. Um, I was I was looking at some reviews for this game because like I was recording it, so I was like, I want to see what other people think of this game. And I was watching this one guy, and he was like, he apparently was making a review, and you could tell he had like never played the game, or if he if he did play it, he wasn't paying attention because. I'm just skipping because I know that that room over there has nothing in it. Or it's it's got a lot of combat with no good reward. It's like one HP upgrade. This is the laggy room, by the way. Look at this lag. This is not like my PC lagging. This is the game lagging because they're storing like a bunch of enemies in the ceiling. Because whenever you finish the puzzle... And then leave the room and come back. The enemies get released. How do you solve this puzzle? Like, I don't want to mess it up. Because, like, I'm just trying to... Yo? You don't want nothing? Whoops. Whoops. Anyways, I forget what I was saying. After you finish the puzzle... Um, the enemies that are stored in the ceiling come out of the ceiling. And then, I don't know, they do stuff. I figure where I was going. All I know is I played through the game like two or three times. Like I did two or three playthroughs of the game. And um, I'm going to speed this up because this is going to take forever if I don't. Anyways, I played through the game a few times, so I know all of, like, the good tricks. I can't imagine not one-shotting these enemies. This is painful. Can you get this right quick? I need this. Okay, good day. See ya. These forest armors have always been, like... My least favorite enemy in the game, probably. Actually, that's not true. That is just straight up a lie. Um, this next boss is, like, kind of cool, kind of not. Anyways, I was saying, I was watching someone review this game, and apparently they had only played through it one time, and they had never actually given the game any thought, because they were like, yeah, uh, the sub, -west uh, the sub weapon system in the game is completely worthless. Like, there is never a reason to... Uh, use the sub weapons because they do like 
fuck all. And I was like, hey, but have you ever actually played this video game? Because, like, the cross sub weapon is, like, the best weapon in the game. And they were like, yeah, so many DSS combos, so many, like, whatever. And I was like, ah, uh, you sure? They were like, no, they were like, the card system is way better than the sub weapon system. The, the card system does, like, I am getting my ass kicked by this death because, like, Because I didn't use the right setup. Because I'm retarded. Help! Yeah, no, just run into it. Just run into it. Did I save before I went in here? Because I'm about to die, and I need to farm, uh... Shit. Please don't kill me. No killing me? None? Just, just focus on dodging. Because if you take a, enough of the sub-weapons in, and you don't have to use this, uh... I'm gonna die here. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> I would have to have done a, a super precise jump if I wanted to live that. Um, anyways, I need to farm sub-weapons. I have no idea what room to do it in. I need to get to max, so... Or at least close to max, because I'm, I'm gonna show you a... A combo that makes this fight trivial. Not trivial, but like... Makes the fight very easy. Yeah, this is where I want to farm these. So, I mean, like... I don't want to edit this because it would take forever. Um, but this is boring. So, I'll let me, I'll, let me try to enthrall you with commentary. Um, the guy who was like saying... Like, reviewing this game was like yeah it was okay but like the sub weapon system does nothing and i was like hey have you ever actually used the cross because like the cross is a, like a melee weapon and then there's like the magician playthrough where you're not supposed to use melee weapons like at all not at all but like you're supposed to like not use them very much and whenever i do the playthrough of that basically the only combo i used is the invulnerability combo and the combo lets me have infinite crosses because the crosses are just that good and that's like a patented idea just that good how many is max 144 yeah they were like yeah picking up the items that make your max sub weapons go up or like the max amount you can hold go up it's basically useless because you're never going to use them. And I was like, so you mean to tell me you played through the entire game using only the whip and like whatever cards you came across. Instead of saving, I'm about to do a controversial move. I am going to make a save state <laughs> because I don't want to uh, farm sub weapons again and I don't want to go back to the room. So this is the trivial... Ah, uh, shit. You can do this. And then switch it to this. And so this mist does, like, no damage. Okay, but it keeps these, uh, the, the scythes off of you. And lets you just, like, wail on this dude. Because you don't ever have to dodge. Like, you only have to dodge his little dick attack. Just, like, stay in the middle of the room. The, the, the scythes can't hit you. Because... They're just getting, like, fucked on. Occasionally, one will slip through, but, like, as you can see, I am just standing here. I am I am vibe-checking death right now. This is death, by the way. I, I don't know if you saw his name pop up. I'm just gonna hit him with the whip. Just kill him. Yo, it is so laggy. Help. I think partially the reason I'm having so much trouble like seeing what's on screen is because I don't usually play with my window like in full screen, but I am playing in full screen right now for some odd reason instead of just like keeping it minimi or like keeping it on a smaller size that my eyes can handle. It's basically the perfect storm for me to 
get my ass handed to me by death. See, look, now he's in his second form. And whatever you think death's second form is, it's definitely not a giant crab. But, uh, he's a giant crab. Imagine you're death, and, uh, you turn into a giant crab. And that's his moves. That's just what he does. He vibes out. We're about to vibe check him, though. Yo, help. I can't jump. Vibe check. Can he swipe me? Can he slap me? Yes, he can. Yo, huge, bro. No telegraphs at all. How was I supposed to see him hitting me? Okay, he's dead. We're good. Well, can I get three levels up? Yep, there we go. Makes up for all the damage I didn't do to the enemies on the way here. That's a speed run, baby. 16 minutes. <laughs> nah, but that's death. If you thought death was a crab, you're right. If you didn't think death was a crab, you're wrong. Uh, we are about to go to uh, the worst area in the game by far. Let me minimize. Let me make my window smaller, though, because this is just like my eyes hurt as a result of looking at this. Okay, now we're good. This looks right. A bit smaller, but... I mean, for you, it's not smaller. For me, it's, like, much smaller. But now there's, like, frame lag. Or it's, like, my frames are, like, lower for some reason. For whatever reason. Hey, this is, like, the worst enemy in the... I don't even know if he can hit you. I think if he runs into you, he hits you. I don't know if he can swipe you. He just has a lot of HP. Can he swipe you? No, he just he's just vibing right now. He's vibing out. Vibe check. This is like BDSM sex dungeon. Like I am in the bottom of the castle in the warehouse just like slapping this golem. <laughs> hey, can we stop that? Um, next area in the game is the worst for sure. I think, well, I mean, it's only the worst because the music isn't good and the gameplay isn't fun. It's definitely the weakest area in the game. Uh, the boss isn't, like, fun. It's not, I mean, it's okay. It's not hard, per se, if you're, like, leveled. Yo, that's the first time I've ever been hit by that enemy. He just fell on me. Nah, the gameplay is, like, it's not hard. It's just boring, because, like, you have to sit through a bunch of stuff. I will for sure be speed, like, using the speed hack warp thing that the emulator provides throughout it, because it's just, like, a slog without it. Okay, just keep dropping axes. There are three axe drops in the uh, entire warehouse, apparently. We just, okay, uh, more sub-weapons I didn't want. This is fine. Um, nah. Anyways, I forget where I was going when I was fighting death. Didn't think it would come out here, did ya? I can't jump up. Fuck. I have to go back through the bottom. You get to go see uh, the spider bitch. Hello, spider bitch. I'm actually going to... Sorry for pausing the music had to happen because I need sub weapons because I am not fighting a grizzly on low damage without them go away arachne arachne arach I don't know arachne and uh soul eater was kind of hot though no no capping thems are facts not willing to debate it spider bitch Got killed by that one. Oh, wait, spoiler alert. She got killed by that one dude. Good show. First anime I ever watched. And now we're back to where we started. Didn't think we would come back here so soon, did you? Okay, we're done. That's it. That's 20 minutes. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm over 10 minutes right now. But, uh, whatever. I'll see you in the next one. Next one... 
And then there's one more, and then I have to fight Dracula. That's it. See ya.